believe this segment with its gimmicky belt made it to another calendar year. It defies all logic, and yet here we are. William Nylander, signed, sealed, and delivered. How would you describe the $11.5 million AAV on his new eight-year deal? Is it just right? Is it too high? Is it way too high? I'm not going to live too low as an option. Cheryl. Too high. I mean, you look at William Nylander, you know what kind of season he's having in the past two 80-point seasons. But when you look at the roster construction and the comparables, I do think it's a little bit high. But let's face it, Trey Living was backed into a corner here. William Nylander certainly had the, had the direction. I mean, he, he, he had it. He had yeah. everything, the leverage. And, of course, he earned it. He bet on himself. It's just right for me. I'm so sick and tired of talking about contracts. I never <laughs> want to do it again after this one. But that's the going rate. The player set the standard. He said, you want to value me? This is what you're going to have to pay me. I'm tired of talking about the comparables like Ajo or Kachuk and them making nine and a half. That's what he said. If you want to keep me, that's just the right deal. That's the right number to keep the player. It, it's too high, not because William Nylander hasn't earned it. He has earned it. Earned it's it. too high because of the cap hell that the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to have to manage to. You want to talk about cap gymnastics historically? That's what we talk about in covering the NHL. Brad Trelaving is going to have to get limber to work through this. <laughs> Nylander has made it clear that he considers Toronto home, wants to retire as a Leaf. So we ask, what is the percentage chance of Austin Matthews retiring as a Leaf? 0%, 34%, the quiz master thinks he's cute, 50%, 75%, or 100%? Oh, 100%. The guy scores 50 to 60 goals every year. Why not win a Stanley Cup, put a statue out front on Legends Row there? I think it'd be a terrific career. I know that there's a short-term deal here, maybe see what happens after, but why not? you know, win a cup here and stay a Maple Leaf forever. 75% for me and a lot of the same lines as you, 587 points in 517 games. I mean, back-to-back -back Rockets, comfort level with who he's playing with and dynamic guys who can also play with him, and that's going to be critical as well. He'll have keys to the city. But four years after this one, if they haven't won a cup, he could be looking elsewhere. 34%, and for the record, the quiz master is anything but cute. Uh, <laughs> but I'm playing devil's advocate here, and I am looking at the contracts. Coming out of his entry-level deal, a short-term five-year extension. His most recent, a four-year extension. This guy and his group have masterfully managed his time. He needs to win. Dregs, your hair is so perfect tonight. I can't take my eyes off it. Our producer, <laughs> Puffy, said it reminds him of Lego hair, where, you know, you just put it on after. At least I don't dye mine. It's fascinating. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Winnipeg is the NHL's best record. Uh, Vancouver's in the top four. Toronto win-now mode. Edmonton has the best record in the league since late November. Belief? or make belief a Canadian team will end the country's 30 year plus Stanley Cup drought in 2024. Dregs, you may begin. Yeah, thanks. Belief, and I'm going back to our season preview where I picked the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Edmonton Oilers in the Stanley Cup final. I said the Oilers would win, but you do have to give credit to the Winnipeg Jets, an incredible run of late, and the Vancouver Canucks. One of those four has a good chance. Belief, it's time. I mean, enough's enough. Hockey is such a big part of the country here. Aren't we tired of seeing Las Vegas, Tampa Bay win championships? It's time for a team up north to get it done. Good Belief good right <laughs> with you there. Oh, and you look at Vancouver and what they've done. Winnipeg for First in goals against, goals for, so could be coming to Canada. Uh, weekend is always great for sports. We always get some great sound bites, which you know we love here at TSN. So I'm going to get you to choose your best one from the weekend and the Manic Monday in sports. The Penguins play-by-play -play guy, Josh Getzoff, on a goal call. Flyers, John Tortorella on Cutter Goche. Or Giannis, Giannis, excuse me, uh, about the Bucks equipment manager. I'm going to play all three for you. Oh, good. And right. you can choose. Finds Malk and his shot scores! Gino Machino pads that penguin lead. I don't know Cutter from a hole in a wall. You know? Uh, so and I'm not too interested in talking about him. Play better. We have to defend better. We have to trust one another better. We have to be coached better. Every single thing, everybody has to be better. Everybody. It starts from the equipment uh, manager. He has to wash our clothes better. <laughs> Giannis is one of the best interviews in sports. I could listen to him all day. Dregs, you have to pick. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, I'm going John Tortorella because we know torts, right? And if you're not with us, you are against us. <laughs> he doesn't have any time for the drama. He doesn't have any patience for anyone outside of that room. 
Oh. I'm going Giannis. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Bobby Hastings, the Leaf trainer, Scotty McKay, they were the best. <laughs> and when we had like the coming to Jesus speech where at, at the sky was falling, no one ever said, Bobby or Scotty, can you please wash the stuff better than what you're doing right now? <laughs> I've never heard of that ever. It's insane to say That's that. Awesome. You're making me change my mind. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I'm going towards uh, as well. I remember, I, it reminds me of when I was a kid and my, I think my mom saying something like that to me. But yeah, all the talk around Cutter Goche and then he's just like, yeah, who is this kid? Kind of, it's a hole in the wall. So I made a resolution that. to consider more often O's job on the quiz after not awarding the belt to him the entire last year, but I will not give it to him this time. Uh, the belt goes, this is kind of sweet and ceremonial, to Dave Poulin, oh, who oh, left us during the Pooley. Christmas break, uh, left for the Ottawa Senators. So this belt goes to Pooley. I'll put it in his old chair, which he shared with Cheryl. Nice. His final belt here on the quiz.